In this video, we're going to be covering one of the most important things in coding, at least in my opinion. Uh, and in the view world, this is wrapping components. You can call it something different like abstracting. Basically what we're doing is we're breaking our code into smaller chunks. So at the moment, all of this is sitting within an index.view file. We want to break it into smaller files so that this create button gets its own file, the to do checkbox button gets its own file, this list gets its own file. And by doing that, it's going to be easier for us to maintain our code in the future rather than having one massive file where we store everything. So it turns out Vue and Quasar make it really, really easy to do this. And that's what we're going to cover in this video. And this is something that you want to be second nature to you. So I highly recommend that after watching this video, you start implementing these practices and you start practicing extracting components to files because it means that you're less likely to end up with spaghetti code and it's going to be easier for you to grok and understand your code in the future. And also for other people to understand your code in the future. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start extracting some elements. And we're going to start off with this create to do button here. And that's sitting within our index page. So if we go to pages, index.view, there it is there. And let's look for FAB, because this is a fab icon or a floating action button. So we want to turn this component here, which is that, into its own file. We want to move it to its own file. And so to do that, let's go ahead and say Quasar new component. That's going to create a new Quasar component within the components directory. And how about we call this create to do button. So there we go, that's created the component and it tells us where it is, but I'm going to show you in the file browser. It's under components and there it is there, create to do button. And by default, it just says my component. So let's come back here and we're going to say here, create to do button in our index.view file. And now we need to import this component. So with Quasar's components, they're automatically imported. For the components that we create, we have to import them ourselves. So let's scroll down now and say, import create to do button from components slash create to do button dot view. Now notice that I said components here instead of um, something like source components or instead of uh, dot dot slash components, right? Because we're in the pages directory. Well, it turns out that Quasar gives us a bit of a shortcut and this is using Webpack magic. So behind the scenes, if we add components there, it's automatically going to jump into our source directory, jump into our components directory uh, for us. So this is just a quicker way to reference our component files. So now I can copy this, come down here and say components, and then we can whack it in there to expose it. So let's save that and there we go. Notice that it says my component, because if we jump into that file, that's what the text is in here. And we can say something else, and now it says something else. So let's come back here now, scroll up, and the create to do button was a button component, if you remember. So let's come back in here and change this to a Q dash button component. And there we go. Now, one thing I want you to notice is that all of the styles that I pass through here or all of the attributes that I pass through get sent down to this component. So in other words, doing this, doing um, exactly what we've got here with all those attributes on there is the exact same as writing this. And this means that our component is very, very flexible. So what we can do is we can add all of the logic for creating a to-do within this button, but we can style it differently from the outside world. So if you like, you can actually cut this and then paste it directly in there. So that's something that you can do. And if I refresh the page here, yeah, that still works. However, I always like to keep as little styling as possible within my components and have my styling sent through to the underlying component. And that means that this component is as flexible 
as possible. So it doesn't have to be a fab icon. It doesn't have to have this margining. It doesn't have these classes, this color, this icon. You can set those defaults if you'd like, but I like to keep the component styling as dumb as possible so that I can tell it from the outside world what it should look like. And the big benefit to that, or one of the big benefits, is now in this one file, I can do all of the styling. So if I wanna just focus on styling, I can do it all within this file rather than within the individual components themselves. And that's just a preference um, that I have when I'm building applications. But if you'd rather do things differently, that's totally fine. So now that we understand how to wrap components, let's wrap a few other components. And the one I'm gonna start with is this to-do list. Now that list is sitting right here. And there it is there, this whole list section here. Let's open up our terminal and say Quasar new component and name this one to-dos list. I said to-dos plural because there's going to be more than one to-do within this component. So to-dos list. And one thing I always do when naming my components is make sure that the last word is the same as the word of the component that it is wrapping in Quasar. So that means that when I read the name of this component, I know what kind of a Quasar component it is. And if you always follow that pattern, your code's just gonna be that little bit clearer. So let's go ahead and create that component, the to-dos list component. And I can come in here and change this to a to-dos list. And notice also that I use Pascal case here where we have a capital there and a capital here. That's just a pattern that's usually followed in the view community where when you're creating your own components, you have them in all caps, but for the Quasar framework, uh, I'm using a dash here. Technically, I could also do this if I wanted to. I could say Q item, but I usually like to follow this pattern of having my own components in capital. So I also get that little extra bit of syntax highlighting. Okay, so there we go. We've created the component. Let's copy that. I'm going to come down here and import it import to do's list from components slash to do's list dot view. And then we can whack it in here. And the next thing we want to do is actually take everything that is inside it. So all of that content, we can cut it now. And then we can go to our to do's list component. And we can paste it in here. And let's change that div to a Q dash list save it so that it automatically formats our styling for us. And there we go. We end up with the same thing, but now all of our to-do list related logic is sitting within this component. Now we're going to repeat this pattern and move a little bit faster now for a few other things. How about this checkbox? Let's call that an update to-do checkbox. Quasar, new component, update to-do checkbox. And there we go. Now I can come in here and say, update to do checkbox like so. And I'm going to remove that. And now let's go ahead and import that. Import from, whoops. <laughs> update to do checkbox from components slash update to do checkbox dot view. Get rid of all of that. And we can add that to our components. Save that. And the next thing we want to actually do is change this component and make it a checkbox. Q dash check box. And then we had a model dash value equal to true. And of course that is going to change down the line when we start implementing the logic there. Right, let's see if we can move even faster now. We'll go to this delete button and call this delete to do button. Open up our console, Quasar new component, delete to do button, come back here, copy that. Actually, we can just copy paste that down. Copy this, double click there, control D, which means it'll select the next occurrence of the text I had selected. So now when I paste that in there, it pastes it in both of those places. And now I can paste it in here in the components directory. And there we go, it now says my component. We just need to change that into a button. Q dash button. And now we've got a place to put all of our delete logic for that button. Now let's move over to this left menu here before we finish up this video. So that's sitting in the main layout. 
And I should probably show you where that is in the file directory just so you get used to it. Layouts, main layout. And I've actually done something not so good here. Now notice that within our list, I've got a toolbar and this item, which is the heading of the list, really what I should probably do is make it so that this list only contains the list items. I'll tell you what I mean. So for now, look at my mouse. For now, the list is encompassing the title of the list as well. Whereas really, we should probably extract that one level further so that the list is only encompassing this section here. That way, the list only cares about um, the items within it rather than the title as well. Um, you could do slots in order to cover that situation, but that's kind of something for another day. So what I'm going to do is move this out of the list. So this section here, I'm now moving it out of the list. Let's save that. And it will still look the same, but it just means that we can extract this section here as the list component. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'm basically just trying to pull our code apart a little bit better. So we might actually start with this button here. And that is called, I think we'll call that a create to do list button. That seems like a sensible name. So opening up our console, Quasar new component create to do list button. And now we can come in here and rename that to create to do list button. We'll keep all of the styling in there. We'll copy that, come down here, and then we'll import it import create to do list button from components slash create to do list button dot view copy that and follow along here because you definitely want to get used to these patterns because you'll be doing it a lot in your code and the faster you get at doing this then the more likely you are to actually do these um to do these logic extractions refactoring that's probably a better word for it we're basically refactoring our code into different components so let's go into this create to do list button now create to-do list button. And of course, that is just going to be a Q-button component. Save it, check if it's working, and it is. Next, let's do this list here. So we'll come back and I think we'll call that, so this is gonna have a weird name. If we go Quasar new component, really it is a to-do lists because this has all of the to-do lists within it because there could be more than one of those. To-do lists list because we're using the list component. So that's a bit, it's a bit difficult to read, but it follows our pattern of saying, what is the thing that we are creating? What is the component of that thing? So to do lists, list. Let's go ahead and create that. And now if I scroll up here, there it is there. So I might cut all of that, control X, and change this to, to do lists, list. Save it, jump in there, paste all of that in. Oh, I'm gonna have to wrap that in a list component. So control shift, enter, Q dash list, enter, save it so that it formats correctly. And let's come back to our main layout here. And now we need to actually import this component. Copy paste that down, double click that, control C, Double click that, control D, so that both of these are selected. Control V, so that we paste the to-do list list text in there. And then we add it to our components list. So I know it might seem like a lot, especially if you're new to this, but I promise that getting used to extracting all of these components to different files is going to be an absolute lifesaver. So if you need to watch this video again and really wrap your fingers around and your head around this concept, um, there we go, that's working. I promise it will totally be worth your while. So that's it for this video. The last thing I might do is actually get rid of this logout button because we're not actually going to have authentication functionality yet. We might build it later on in the series, but at the moment it makes no sense. So that's sitting within the main layout file. And if we search for the word logout, here it is here. Let's get rid of that, save it, and it's gone. So there you go. That's how you extract components into their own files. Another word for this is also wrapping components because what we're really doing is we're wrapping Quasar components here. We're wrapping those components so that we can put the logic for those components within their own file. 
So that's what people mean when they say wrapping components. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I'll mention this again, abuse the pause button when you're watching these videos. If you pause the video 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 times, that's totally fine. Pause it, rewind it, make sure that this stuff is making sense to you. I remember when I was first learning to code, I used to pause things like crazy. I still do. So sometimes I watch Laracast and the videos over there and Jeffrey Way moves at a pretty consistent pace and I love it because if it's a concept I understand well, it means that I can just follow along with the video. Otherwise, I would just abuse the pause button. And it's not unusual for me to pause a video 30, 40, or 50 times. What's really important is that you're understanding these concepts. So please don't feel bad if you feel like you need to pause the video all the time to understand all of this, and maybe like a Google something to further your knowledge. That's totally fine. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.